Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to math mode. Really interesting algebra problem today, tricky problem I would say, because we have look like easy question, we need to take square root from this element. But before following this, I want to ask you to please leave a like, write any comment, it's really important for me and it's it's not hard to you, but it helps me to improve my videos, if, it's, if you're interested in this, of course, I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much and let's try to solve it. We have square root of this element, but on the first side, our answer it looks like 2 to the power 4 to the power 4, it looks like that, we have 4 to the power 2 to the power 4, or we have 4 to the power 4 to the power 2. So it looks like our brain tells us that we, we need to take one root from all of, from these elements, but none of this answer is correct. As you can see right here, we need to find really interesting proof that this is incorrect. Take a look closely, I want to start with this really interesting moment, so for example we have square root of 5, yeah? So we have square, we don't write as this square as well, but we all know that square root of 5 equal to 5 to the power 1 half. So we know this way, how can we write this? For example, square root of, of 10, for example, we can write it as well as 10 to the power 1 half. For example, cubes root of, we have 7 square, yeah? So we have this expression. We can write it as 7 to the power 2 over 3. And I want to show you one really interesting moment right now. Take a look, this 2 goes right here in our denominator. This 2 goes right here in our denominator. This 3 goes right here in our denominator. So the power of this root divide our power right here. So right here we need to divide this 4 to the power 4. So take a look, we have right here 4 to the power 4, this is our power right here, we divided it by the power of root, as you can see in every time we divide it, right here by 3, right here by 2, power of our root in the beginning is 2, so we divide this 4 to the 4, we divide it by 2, as a result 4 to the power 4 equal to 4 times 4 times 4 and times 4, we divide it by 2 and as a result we have 2 times 4 times 4 and times 4, so we have this expression. But what about the power? So this 4 equal to 2 square, so as a result we can change every of these 4 as 2 square. So as a result these 2 in the beginning, 2 times 2 square, this is the first 4, second 4 and the third 4. 2, 4, 6, 7, so this is equal to 2 to the 7th power. And as a result this is only our power, but what about the final answer? We need to plug in this instead of this 4 to the 4th. So as a result, square root of 4 to the 4 to the 4 equal to 4 to the power 2 and to the power 7. And as you can see, this not like an answer that I write it right here that tell us our brain, it looks like we take root from these 2, from, from these 4, from these 4. So it's not like a 2 to the power 2 to the power 2. As you can see, completely different different answer. Because our brain tell us that right here this answer is 2 to the power 2 to the power 2. It can be it can be read like that, but it's not in our case. Looks like if we will have 2 to the power 4 to the power 4 or 4 to the power 2 to the power 4. So we kind of take root from one of these elements, but every is incorrect. This is a correct, correct answer. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.